listen to your body uh use weight accordingly okay if you want a little bit more intensity use heavier weight okay maybe not as many reps uh listen to your body let's go ahead and get started and we'll start with our chair we're gonna face to see the chair look at those nice shirts everyone's wearing today doug and cindy thank you palms on the seat of the chair take your feet back about hip width not too wide shift your hips back away from the chair relax that head in between the shoulders and hold here for three good two and one and shift forward back toward the chair and again shift those hips back chest down your knees are soft they're not locked out hold it here for three two and one and shift forward in this position everyone your right foot right leg we're going to step to the outside of the chair on the right side shift forward there you go marianne mm -hmm. heads up you're not looking down on the floor of the chair you're looking straight ahead for three nice diane two right foot in front one step it back with that right leg and let's go forward with the left same thing on the left side nice cindy three two and one step it back and right step forward shift forward big stretch good stretch for the hips okay opening up the hips and hip flexors and step it back and last one left step forward shift forward good three two and one and step it back walk it in and raise up Good job, good job. Getting those hips nice and loose early morning. Wide stance. We're gonna take the left hand, shift the body weight to the right uh, heel, left hand on the floor on the inside of the right foot. Right arm up to the ceiling. So your left hand is utilized for support and balance. The right arm's up to the ceiling. Let's look at the right fingertips. Yep, nice, Doug. Very nice. And slowly bring it all back and in toward the center. Let's go to the other side. Shift over. All right, Cindy. Mm -hmm. Left arm up. We're looking at the left fingertips for three, two, and one. Bring it in. Back up to the center. Good morning, Frida. Shift the hips to that right heel. We're gonna keep it here, nothing fancy. Shift the hips to the right heel. Good, good. Great, Cindy. Back to the top center. And other side over to the left. Good, for three, two, and one. And back to center. Awesome, bring those legs in. Shake it out. We're gonna take that left leg, cross it over the right. Let's clasp the hands together, arms up, over to the right side of the room. Over to the right, oof. Extend those arms away from the body, good, good. Now over to the other side. Keep the leg crossed the way they are, right over left. Great. Back to the top center, release those arms down. Uncross, left over right. Arms up, interlace. Over to the right side. Watch that balance. Core is engaged, glutes engage. Other side, tighten those glutes. Great, Cindy. And back to the top center. Release those arms, uncross. Good, good. Grab that chair, please. And we're gonna face the back of the chair. Let's start with the right leg in front, left and back straight left leg straight arms in front hips go back chest comes down relax that head you're looking to the floor verify your toes are pointing in the same direction forward for three two one and raise up left in front right in back feet flat left leg straight toes pointing in the same direction forward for three two and one and bring it up good 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 
All right, since everyone has a cap uh, capability, wall or cabinets, we're gonna take that right hand, uh, not shoulder height, a little lower, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our hips back and chest down, okay? So only that right hand's on the wall. There you go, Cindy. Hips back, chest down, push your palm into the wall. So we're isolating that right side, that right shoulder, chest, uh, below the hand, um, armpit, the lats. Hold it here for three, two, and one, and raise up. Now your left hand is on that wall, chair, or cabinets, hips back, chest down slowly because now you're isolating one side so you can really feel what's going on. Three, two, and one, and raise it up. <laughs> Good, now let's put both palms on that wall or uh, cabinet, hips back, chest down. <sighs> Push those palms into the wall. This is upper body stretch now. Shoulders, chest, three, two, and one, Good, Marianne, and raise it up. <sighs> Woo, I feel that. Upper back, middle back. Have a seat on the chair. <sighs> and we are going to cross figure four, right over left. Let's put our right elbow inside that right knee. Lean forward and down, pushing the inside of that right knee down toward the floor. Not rounding your shoulders, drop the shoulders. Nothing's coming from the shoulders right now, okay? It's the upper body weight coming forward and down. That's helping that stretch for three, two, and one. Raise it up. Good, good. Release and left over right. Left elbow inside that knee. Lean forward and down. That's where you get that big, good stretch. Hopefully on that left side, left hip, left glute. For three two and one and raise it up perfect good good uncross open up that stance nice and wide as wide as you feel comfortable okay let's go wide here we're going to reach down to the floor relax the head and neck pull your belly button to the spine drop your shoulders drop your head <sighs> right hand up to the ceiling look at the left push through that left palm into the floor for three two and one, bring it in, other side, left arm up. Push that right palm into the floor for three, two, and one, bring it in. Slowly raise the chest up, bring those legs in. We're gonna scooch our hips to the edge of the chair. We're gonna bring the right knee into the chest, left knee in the chest, cross at the ankles, and pull in. I don't want you to bring your chin to chest. Just relax. Nice neutral head and neck. Good. Yes, everybody. Three, two, and one. And release. Release. We're going to stand. And we're going to get to move in here. Strength and resistance training. First movement. With or without the dumbbells. Okay. I'm going to use my dumbbells. Let's see. We're going to start with our double squat overhead press, okay? Now, I'm going to teach a couple little different things here with the squat. Feet are a little wider than hip width. Notice how my toes are pointed out slightly, okay? And a little wider because when you go into that squat, if your feet are too close, you don't allow your hips enough space to open up, right? And sometimes the knees want to start coming in or just kind of weird things happening. So I want you to open up that stance, okay? We're gonna allow those knees to open up to the sides a little bit, all right? Doesn't mean you have to go all the way down, but we're gonna do a double squat here. So we're gonna come down and then lower and then all the way up. Come down, lower, then all the way up, okay? So what you're down and lower might be different for me. Do you? Don't try to replicate me, okay? You could probably go down lower than me. If that's the case, do so. Here we go. Squat, lower, then push it up. Squat, lower, push down with your heels and your big toes, okay? Like we learned recently, heels and big toes. That's three, good, Cindy. Squat, dip, and press. Good job, Marianne. 
squat, dip, and push through the heels and the toes. Good. Squat, drop, and awesome. Good. Squat, drop, and squat, drop, exhale. Squat, drop, and three more. Squat, drop. Last two. Squat, drop. And last one. Squat, drop. And bring it all down. Yes. Big movements. Hopefully your squats felt a little better since you had a wider stance and you were able to open up the hips. Next movement, dumbbells or none. Remember, you have the option. Tough move, but we've done it before. Split stance. Let me show you the profile. Right in front, left. It's not a big split. Left and uh, the heel is elevated. That left heel is elevated. The right knee is soft. Both knees are soft. We're going to hinge straight down, not out in front, away from the body, straight down toward the toes and then pull it right back up. I want you to shoot to around where you're between your knee and your ankle. And then once you hit that spot, come back up. Okay. All right. In position. Here we go. Hinge forward and down between that knee and the ankle and then raise up. Again, inhale and push through that right heel, lift up. Inhale down, push through the right heel and big toe, and back up. That's three. Inhale and bring it up. Four. Good, good, good. Lower heel and toe. Five. Again, and raise up. Exhale. Six. If that back heel being lifted is too much for you, Lower the heel. Okay, seven. Good. Eight. Still powering through that same right heel and big toe. Nine. Good job, Marianne. Inhale. Bring it up. That's ten. Last two. There's eleven. Good, Diane. Last one. Bring it up. 12. Good. Other side. I think I'm going to use heavier weights. I should have did it earlier for this movement. Now the left's in front, right's in back. Remember, you can elevate that right heel if you like. It's going to make it challenging, a little harder. If you're good with it, have at it. If not, drop it. Here we go. Hinge. Inhale. And pull up. <sighs> Exhale. Good. Two. Thanks for inspiring me on this one, Cindy, because I saw your weights. I was like, you know what? Yeah, two, inhale down, power through that left heel, raise up, three, lower, heel and big toe, four, push down that left heel and left big toe, bring it up, five, good, inhale, bring it up, that's six, halfway there, inhale, Bring it up. Seven. And bring it up. Eight. And push down that left heel, the big toe. Nine. Bring it up. Ten. Get Marianne. And eleven. Makes a difference. That's a little heavier weight. And last one, 12. Woo! Weights go down. Good job, guys. Grab a quick sip. So we did our double squat overhead press, our deadlifts with the split stance. Next movement, we're going to go, oh, let's see. I have, let's go with this one. Two dumbbells. We've done it before. And... Make sure the weight is appropriate. If it's too heavy, 
modify. The movement is this. The arms are gonna come up both in front, shoulder height. I'm sorry, right arms in front, left arms to the left side. And then we're lifting shoulder height, we're lowering, then we switch, lift, and lower, okay? Here we go. Lift and lower, switch, lift and lower. Keep the glutes engaged, chest up and lower. You need to do one arm at a time, that's fine. There you go, Diane. And switch, three, shoulder height. Nice and smooth, don't force it, lift and lower, good. Four, good, Diane, and switch, shoulder high, good. Five, good, good, and switch, lift, there we go, good, good. Seven, more than halfway there, and switch. You got it, Frida, and lower. Switch, eight, remember dumbbells or no dumbbells or you can just do one arm at a time. Lift, good, controlled movement. Not momentum, muscle, nine. I'm actually lifting the weights up, I'm not swinging them up. There we go, again, 10. Lower and switch, good job, Cindy. Lower, 11 and lower and switch. This is strength training. Good old solid train training. Good, good. Last one on each side. 12 and switch and lower. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing fancy, just very straightforward. Grab a quick sip if you need it. Next movement. Oh. Okay, <laughs> it's been a while since we've done this movement. Um, it's a tough movement. I'm gonna show you the movement without dumbbells. If you wanna add dumbbells and hold them by your side or, or push them up over your head or keep them over the shoulders, by all means do so. This is the movement and we're gonna stick with the right leg first and only. It's gonna be a reverse lunge, right leg, come in to a squat. So we go back, reverse lunge, bring it forward into a squat. Now here's the thing, let me show you from the front. Reverse lunge, right? Railroad tracks, bring it in, oops, oops, reverse lunge. Then when I come in, I'm in wide for the squat, okay? Go back, and then I come forward wide for the squat. Okay, there you go, Marianne. I wanna make that clear, okay, with everybody. Reverse lunge back, come up wide for your squat. You don't wanna be like this for your squat, okay? I'm not gonna use any weights. Here we go, head and chest up, right leg. Reverse, inhale, step forward wide, squat. There we go, reverse, two. Step forward wide, squat. Woo, Frida, three. You got it. If you need a chair, anybody nearby, put it on that left side, okay? Four, reverse. And step forward, wide squats. Good, good. Five, reverse. Step forward wide and squat. Oh boy. Six, reverse. Step forward wide and squat. Good, good. Watch out, Poppy. Seven, good job sending with the weight. Step forward wide and squat. Eight. Reverse, step forward wide, squat. Good, Diane. Nine, inhale, exhale, wide, inhale, and exhale. Nine, reverse, squat. 10, reverse, and squat. 11, reverse, yes, step forward, squat. Last one on this side, reverse, two, 
squat. <laughs> Woo! Very, very, very good. Excellent. As a matter of fact, grab a little sip. <sighs> we're going to go to the um, upper body again, and then we're going to come back and do the left leg, okay? And the upper body movement is going to be a different movement. <sighs> Two dumbbells or no dumbbells. Make sure I got my time right. Okay. Around the world. Look at my back the whole way through. Arms up, little tap at the top, and then back down. I never lean back, okay, or shift forward. Slight bend the elbows. If the weight is too heavy for you, don't use weight. Do the same movement, but just don't use weight. Here we go. Up and back down. Again, up, get Marion, and lower. Three. You should feel your belly button to your spine. You should feel your glutes engaged too. Four. And lower. Good job, everybody. Five. We're in it. After this right now, you move on with your day and you do you. Seven, check the box. Eight, and lower, good, good. Nine, whether you're doing the live or the recording, it still counts. <laughs> 10, and of course we've got Gizmo's booty right there in front of the camera. Last 11, and now it's gone, and 12 and bring it down. Awesome. Dumbbells go down. Grab a little sip. I love that. I just never know who's going to make a special guest appearance. <laughs> I never know when I log in who's making a special guest appearance. It could be Kobe, could be um, uh, Bailey. Haven't seen Bailey around. Is that Bailey? Oh, look at Bailey. Look, Frida, there's little Bailey. Oh, boy. Very cute. <laughs> All right, guys. <sighs> Bailey looks happy. Left leg now. We're going to go into that reverse lunge. Row, row tracks, right? Come out and squat, okay? Make sure you come wide when you come forward. Here we go. Reverse. Inhale. Step forward wide. Squat. Reverse, inhale, step forward wide to squat. Good, reverse, three. Step forward wide, good, four. If you need a chair, put it on that right-hand side so you have space to move that left leg because that's the one that's moving. Six, reverse, and wide. Seven, reverse, and wide, there you go. Mm -hmm. Eight, reverse, good Doug, and wide. Awesome. Nine, reverse, and wide. Good, good. Ten, reverse, and step wide for that squat. 11, step wide, great Cindy, I like that movement, 12, step wide, and squat, great job guys, very good, grab a quick sip, let's see what else we have, I'm thinking, I like what we've done so far, I don't think I'm going to add anything else, we're going to go back to, um, Split stance. So we'll give the quads a little bit of break and then we'll go back to the double squat. Okay, split stance, deadlifts, right foot in front, left and back, elevate that left heel or keep that left foot down, okay? Elevate, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Core is engaged, here we go. Hinge forward, lower the dumbbells down, inhale, then exhale, come up. Push through that right heel and the big toe. Two. And 
There you go, Diane. Three. Lower and bring it up. Good, Marianne. Four. Push through that heel and the big toe. Bring it up. Good. Five. And bring it up. Good. Six. And raise up. Woo, Diane. Good save. Lower and raise up. Seven. Again, lower. And push through that right heel on the big toe. Please do that, okay? Eight, right heel and big toe, push down and lift up. Good. Nine, push down that heel and big toe, raise up. That's 10. Good. Last two. There's 11. Last one. And bring it up. 12. Oof. This movement is where I would advise it's safe to use a little heavier weight because you're not going up overhead or in front this way, okay? So if you have every heavier weight, I'd encourage you to give it a try. Okay, so that was right foot in front, left in front. Tighten the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, keep that back straight. I want you rounding and arc back, keep it straight. Here we go, lower. And raise up. Good. Two. And pull it up. Three. Inhale. And pull up. Good. Four. Nice. Five. Pull it up. Good. Six. Push through that left heel and the left big toe. Seven, lower and lift. Good, good. Eight, left in front, Frida. Bring it up. Nine. Good job, good job. Ten. Last two, everyone. Eleven. Wow, very good. And last one, 12. Pull it up nice and smooth and strong and confident. Woo! I went from a five to a 10, tens on those. Felt the difference, felt the difference, but not in a negative way because we were coming down. Now, if I was going up, it'd be a little different. All right, next movement, double squat, overhead presses. So one dumbbell, two dumbbells, no dumbbells. It's totally up to you on this one, okay? What I do want to say is a little wider than hip width on the stands, toes out. Remember, when you go in your squat, I want you to have space for your hips to open up. There you go. All right, here we go. Squat, drop, and press. Good. Squat, drop, press. Woo, for you, very good. Squat, drop, push to the heels, and lift up. That's three. Good, Diane. Squat, drop, and press. That's four. Squat, drop, and five. Someone's walking out back there, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> Six, just letting you know. Drop, drop. Seven, good, good. Squat, drop. Power up. Hey, looking good, everybody, on these. Squat, drop. Nine. Squat, drop. Ten. Last two. Squat, drop. Good, Frida. Good, Marianne. And last one. Excellent. Seriously, you guys. <laughs> Superb. Very good. Everyone did really well on the last one and on this one too. So whatever you're doing, whatever you ate this morning, whatever you drank this morning, keep doing it. <laughs> it's doing you good. All right. Next movement. Front, excuse me, right arm, 
left arm, front and side arm raise. Remember, and I know you know how I am, I like to exaggerate to show my point, but none of this, okay? Make sure you lift using muscle, not momentum, all right? And if it's too much, doing both at the same time, do one arm, okay? At a time rather than both, it's gonna be more helpful. And if it's too much weight, don't use weight at all. All right, in position, right arm in front of the right leg, left arm, side of the left leg. Knees soft, shoulders back, chest out. Here we go. And lower and switch. Be powerful every time you lift. Two. And tighten the glutes. Three, that'll help the whole movement all together. Four. Good, Doug. And five. And six halfway point. Muscle, muscle. Seven. There we go. Eight. Mm -hmm. Nine, lift and lower and switch. Lift and lower, good, good. 10, man, and great. 11, and switch, yes. Last one on each side, 12, and switch. Excellent, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Seriously, whatever you did last night before you went to sleep, sleeping, your, the way you slept, everything, keep it the same. <laughs> yes, I'm sweating too, okay. All right, let's, um, next movement, ooh. Okay, we've got our reverse lunge to squat. We're gonna keep it this way. We're gonna do, um, yeah, right leg. If you wanna add weights, you can add it. I was gonna alternate them, but I'm gonna keep it Right leg first and then left leg, okay? So movement is right leg, reverse lunge, step wide, squat, okay? You wanna add weight, you can, to your hands, shoulders, wherever you wanna do it. Right leg, here we go. Reverse, railroad track, step out, squat. Two, reverse, step wide, squat. Three, Railroad track, step wide, squat. Good, Doug. Four, reverse, step forward, squat. The only leg that should be moving is your right leg. Five, your left leg should stay in one spot. And squat, almost there. Six, inhale, and exhale. Seven, inhale, and good. Eight, reverse, good, good. Step four, squat, good. Nine, reverse, and squat, good. Ten, reverse, good job, Frida. Squat, wow, 11. I thought this workout was gonna be hard, but it seems like <laughs> y'all are seriously knocking it out like you've done it all your life, which most of y'all have. 12, that's the last one. Good, that was really good. Seriously, this workout was intended to be a little bit harder than some of our others by the nature of the movements in the order. Left leg, but Seems as though pretty even keel for everyone. <laughs> Left leg, here we go. Inhale, and then step wide, squat, exhale. Inhale, two, step wide, squat. Three, keep that chest up on the reverse and the squat. Four, your right foot's basically, oops, 
Right foot staying in one spot. Squat. Okay. Five. Reverse. There you go. Step wide. Squat. The chair will be on your right hand side for those support. Six. Okay. Step wide. And squat. Seven. Don't let me rush you. Take your time. Okay. Eight. Reverse. Two. Squat. Nine. Two. Squat. Ten. You're almost there, Diane. Looking good. And squat. Eleven. Two, squat, last one, 12, reverse, two, squat, there we go, yeah, <laughs> very nice, grab a quick sip, let me check our time, last movement, around the world, around the world, we're doing it with or without dumbbells, okay, keep or let me say this, be mindful of your form. Be mindful of your hips and your chest, okay? You wanna keep everything, shoulders stacked over hips. Knees soft, here we go. Up and a little tap and back down. Two. Like I literally have to feel my core engage, my glutes engage up here. Three. Four, have to think about it, what is what I should have said. It doesn't just come naturally. Five, six. So my purpose for saying that is for you guys, probably the same, seven, have to remind yourself. Eight, keep those glutes engaged, cores engaged. Nine, exhale up. Okay, good. Ten. Let's finish strong. Last two. 11. Okay, good. Last one. Up. 12. And bring it down. Yeah! Yeah! Monday morning, December. What's today's date? December the 5th. Doesn't matter what time of day, what day of the month, what day of the week. We do work. We do work. Grab a little sip. A few cool down stretches. Yeah, I'm telling you, we have to acknowledge, you know, all this effort that we put in because it is effort. Believe me, I'm sure there's a, about 10, 000, 10 things, not 10,000, 10 things that you could be doing right now instead of this. But trust me, this is the right thing to be doing right now. <laughs> Whether you're doing the recording or doing live right now. Feet about hip width, shift those hips back, chest down. Ah. The best part about it is it's over now. <laughs> Three, two, and one, and raise up. Right foot forward, shift the uh, hips forward, and let's take the left arm to the right side of the room. <sighs> nice, Cindy. Three, two, and one, release, and switch it. Left, shift, and right arm. <sighs> Good, two, and one, and release. Bring the legs in, hands on the hips, and feet by hip width, keep the knees soft. Just allow those hips to gently rotate. Two, and one, reverse. Three, two, good, good, one. Take that right arm across the chest, pull it into the body without arcing, okay, or rounding your back. And release, and left. Bring that left arm in. Same thing here, without rounding or arcing. Two, and one, and release. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. Yeah!